And we're going to go now to step four. So remember, we're working from this email. So step one is to mark. Of course, I cannot put in the, the, the cover sheet. So cover sheet comes first, get those in. Uh, you do your marking, uh, you save your candidate scripts to the campus drive for the record there. Good. So now we're at step three. So step three has to do with how do we get our marks onto the ORS? So the ORS site is right here. It's listed here for your, um, your information. So you can find it, the site here. And as to what to do, a step-by-step -step process, you have a video tutorial right here. But I'll basically carry you through, give you a quick version now, so we can see. So I use my ORS login to just carry you through the steps to show you how, how to get to the window to enter your grades. And a few tips as to what you can do to not get errors in that um, site window. So let's go now to the ORS. So I'll put in my username. My password again, okay. And the, the period is June 2020. Once you've done that, you simply say log in. Now, don't watch all these things. My account is a bit different from yours. Yours will be much simpler. Uh, what you'll see is for perhaps SBA, and you have two options on the SBA. So on the SBA, you will see teacher assignment. You don't need to do anything there because I have already assigned your candidates to you. So each, each teacher has their, their exam group attached to their name on this site. So we can skip teacher assignment and go straight to SBA data capture. So once you choose that, it takes you to a different site, uh, which they added two years ago. It's a much better site to use, much more user friendly. So you simply have to state what center you're trying to enter grades for, which is Clifton Hunter. Then you state uh, your name. In that case, that's me. And uh, I think it's by last name. So I'll look for R, I'll choose my name, and I'll choose my subject, which is IT. You know what? I should use Miss Nemard. Miss Nemard, if you're here, if, if you don't mind, I'll use your, <laughs> your thing again, because my thing will be groups, and I haven't um, sorted the groups as yet, so I won't use mine. Miss Nemar, are you on? Yes, I'm here, sir. That's fine. Okay, thank you. So I'll just use Miss Nemar's um, name to show you where we need to get to. Ms. Nemar is doing RE. Your option is Christianity. All right, so at this point, you have to tell the system whether or um, if you're using group SBA or individual. Now remember that you can do a mixture of both. So you have 20 students, you can have three or, three or um, five groups per person. So for a class of 20, you could have three groups of five and then the others are working individually. So a group can have one person in it, so to speak. So the mixture is fine. So in Ms. Nemar's case, she used individual. So I'll choose individual. And then what it does, it takes you to this screen where you're able to enter the candidate. It gives you the name and sequence number. So these three are populated already and you put in the other details. 